Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Omna Sanctuary. This week's channeled message is from Saint Germain and it's entitled Releasing Yourself from Illusion. Greetings, beloved beings of light. I am Saint Germain. I come forth with a sense of peace, which I share with you and surround you in. I invite you to inhale deeply and to hold that breath for as long as feels comfortable. Then I invite you to exhale to exhale with meaning and purpose. A release, a relaxation, a letting go within your being that serves you in opening your being more fully and connecting with yourself. I invite you to practice this, knowing that with each breath you exhale, you are releasing numerous things, energies, thoughts, wounds, emotions that you may not even be aware of. You may not even be aware that you're holding on to them. But through this practice, you can release them. And we spoke last week about a purposeful decision. And this is also a purposeful decision. The purpose to let go of that which no longer serves you without the need to know exactly what it is. And so there is that sense of trust. Trusting in the power within your being. Trusting that there is a space within your being that is all-knowing that can guide you through your reality, that can support you in making purposeful decisions and can support you in being of service to yourself and to others. Now this technique that I share with you supports you in releasing illusions. Illusions are things that you hold on to that are not true, that are not born from the truth of your being. Now there are many ways to describe illusions and there may be illusions in the world around you. However, I, Saint Germain, am speaking of your own being and the illusions that you create. In many ways, when you create an opinion, especially if it is not born from your inner knowingness, that is an illusion. When you make a choice that is not born from the inner knowingness, that is also an illusion. When you perceive something in a way that is not born from your inner knowingness, that is also an illusion. And of course, when you perceive yourself in a way that's not born from your inner knowingness, that is an illusion. Now you can gather what I am sharing with you at this time that often you hold on to illusions, things that are not born from or not created from your inner knowingness. 
When you begin to look at yourself, your thoughts, your emotions, the way that you act and react with people and with yourself, you begin to notice that there are multiple illusions that you are holding on to. Now with this realization can come shock, can also come judgment and fear. A feeling that you may never connect with your own inner knowingness and live that reality on the earth. However, again, it is an illusion because that is not the truth. But we can recognize that this fear of not connecting with your inner knowingness and not bringing it into your reality. While it is an illusion, it is also your truth in this moment. If we can imagine your body, your being, your thoughts, your emotions, they have been programmed to work in a certain way. You have achieved some of that programming as have your carers as a child. So the way that you work, there is a specific programming that you've adopted, which means that when you have fear or when you create an illusion, it is also actually your truth from the programming of your being. So it is something essential. It is something that requires your attention. However, the difference is that it doesn't require to be held on to. You can set it free. You don't need to hold it in your space. And so we understand that your entire being is programmed in a certain way. And so there is a need to reprogram your entire being. The way to reprogram your entire being is to connect more and more with your inner knowingness. That space of knowingness within your being to bring it into your body, your aura, your emotions, your mind, to ask for its guidance, to sit in the space of your own inner knowingness. And we recognize that these illusions created by your programming such as the fear of not knowing or, cre or living your inner knowingness, that these are like stepping stones that direct you to your inner knowingness. They can open up your inner knowingness and allow you to experience it more fully. So there is a need to accept the illusions that you have created and to accept that this is an essential aspect of your spiritual evolution and your connection with self. To recognize the illusions you've created and to sit in the space of knowingness within your being. An example of this, you recognize a thought that you feel or you believe is not born from your inner knowingness and is actually born from a past experience or an opinion of yourself or others or that you've given to yourself or given to others. So you can recognize this as what we might call in this moment, an essential illusion. 
It is essential because it's a stepping stone to accessing your inner knowingness. Then you can say to yourself, as I enter into my inner knowingness, as I connect or sit in my inner knowingness, I am willing to set this illusion free and I do so now. Then bring your attention to a space within your being. You may not know where that space is. You can simply ask to be guided to the space of inner knowingness within you. Or you might want to sit in your heart in a space of love. Or maybe you'll call upon your soul to be present or your creator presence. Whatever feels appropriate to you. Sit and breathe in that space of knowingness. You might want to affirm, I am my inner knowingness. I am my inner knowingness. I am meaning the creator. The creator is my inner knowingness. And you can ask yourself, what is the truth? Or what truth needs to come forward? Or what action needs to be taken? And sit with that. There is no pressure. It is not as if you have to achieve something. You can simply sit in your inner knowingness. And that is all that is needed. As you achieve this, you will find that your inner knowingness speaks to you more often, guides you, inspires you, or influences your feelings. This will allow you to be more open, more connected, and more able to flow with your inner knowingness. With so much change occurring on the earth and within each being, connection with your inner knowingness is essential. The mind essentially cannot deal with the volume of change, even if you're not aware of the changes occurring. And in many ways, the mind cannot make decisions born from the past because they will not work out in the current energies of ascension. In many ways, it is only the soul, the creator presence, your inner knowingness that can project creations, decisions, choices, even opinions into your reality. And these may be completely different to what your mind wishes for. And yet they have this glowing nature or warmness, comfort or inspiration with them that allows you to know you are achieving what is guided from within. Many souls are wishing to connect at a soul level in the physical reality. And this process that I have been speaking of 
will support you and others in fulfilling that need of your soul, your creator essence, your inner knowingness, whatever label you wish to call it. Because that connection with self especially and with others from a pure state is something that will really nurture and nourish your being in ways that are in many ways beyond your imagination or your mind. My love is with you eternally. I thank you. I am Saint Germain. Thank you. Thank you for being present with me today and I hope you enjoyed the channeling from Saint Germain. He seems very present with me and um, in the ascension process at the moment. He keeps coming forth to guide us and supporting us very much, I feel, in our physical realities of how to deal with everything that is occurring. And of course, um, it's to go inside of ourselves and to, to really um, build that bond with our inner knowingness so that we can rely on it, so that we trust it and it's a natural expression of our being. So enjoy your week and I will see you next week. Bye.